Hello EDU 261 students. Um, this is Brenda Blackburn and I am coming to you from the Transylvania County campus sitting outside on their wonderful little area out here. It's just beautiful in this little courtyard. Um, but um, so I apologize for the cold or the allergies or whatever I'm dealing with right now but I did want to go ahead and get this video to you for module one. Again we just want to um, welcome you to this class and as you will see um, Getting started in Module 1, you will have Module 1 book, and please read the entire book here. I'll just walk through that with you very quickly. You have the introduction. You have the module objectives. Your reading assignment for this module. What is your philosophy? You will be writing up a philosophy for your center, so please read this carefully. It will give you some great ideas. The program goals and objectives, again, you're going to be um, writing up your own program goals. Um, so you'll want to read through this as well to help you with that. And then uh, how about a lingo, child care or daycare? Now for me, it's a little bit of a pet peeve. I hate the idea of people calling it daycare. Um, and I know that's just a personal pet peeve because when you stop and think about it, we are really caring for the child. We are not caring for the day. So that's just one of my little pet peeves, but you can read this about whether you call it child care or daycare. And then choosing a name for your center. And that is another thing you'll be doing in this module is choosing a name for your center. And you'll want to make sure you choose a name that reflects the kind of care you plan to provide. Choose a name that's easy to spell and say. Choose a name that includes LLC or Inc. if applicable, if you're going to have your own um, incorporation. And then there's some don'ts, so read through those as well. Um, and so there's just some wonderful ideas there for you. Um, one of the things you want to make sure is that your name is meaningful and that it makes sense for what it is that you're providing care for. Um, so then just think about that when you're choosing your name. So let's go back to module one. And um, so you have the book you need to go through. There's some wonderful links for Module 1. And then these two PDF documents here are actually um, chapters in another book. And this is part of your reading assignment for this module. So you'll want to download those and read those because they will be included in your quiz for this module. Then there's more resources that you want to run off the following and place them in your notebook. And this is a new one I've added this year. It's a basic information for potential providers. It's new for 2000, it was new as of 2015. So run it off and put it in your notebook and keep it because that will really help you in understanding the different things you need to know um, for beginning a child care of your own. So um, that's a wonderful thing as well as all these other child care rules. One is for centers, one is for family homes, and then the summary of child care law and rules for parents, and the North Carolina sanitation rules. So run all those off and put them in your notebook. And then these activities will need to be done by Monday. Um, actually I'm not going to say a date because this date may change depending on which year you're taking this class. So um, make sure that you, if you use any resources to complete any of your assignments, whether it's websites or books or magazines, journals, or even your employer's information, that you cite them in APA format in your documents and on a separate reference page. So go back to the earlier portions of this course where you have all those APA resources and look to see how you are to reference the, that information. Every year we have a basket auction um, for the education club and we always like to have every class put together a basket for the basket auction. So for our class here, we normally for the EDU 261 class, we traditionally have done like a spa basket or what ladies love basket or something like that. So if you um, could contribute to that basket, we would so appreciate that. And so you would just add to this discussion forum and write down exactly what you plan to bring to put into that basket. It could be um, all kinds of things. You could even do a gift card to, um, you know, some kind of a, a nail place. Or you could do um, just, um, let me think, like bath salts or, um, you know, those masks that you put on for sleeping or... Um, you know, some just different fun things that would help to kind of pamper um, 
women who, who are stressed out. And um, so many of us, I think, can relate to that. So think about what you would like to have in a basket like that, and maybe you could contribute an item or two to put in this basket. So we would really appreciate your help in that. Um, and then choosing a name for your center, that's another um, discussion form you'll put there. And here's a self-reflection questionnaire, and it's just a yes or no questionnaire, and you will just write in, um, just answer the questions, and it's just to kind of answer um, and decide whether or not you feel you're ready to open a child care center. You'll fill this out now, and then you'll fill it out again at the end of EDU 262 in the spring, and just to see where you are at that point. Maybe your answers will have changed. Um, so it's just be a fun self-reflection questionnaire. Your personal philosophy here. So again, looking back on those notes from the book, which will might help you, but you are going to develop and state a personal philosophy of early childhood education and family support for your fictitious or real child care program. And um, to prepare for this, reading that chapter two, determining the need for child care in your text, and what is your philosophy um, lecture notes. Um, and then you're going to go through here and it says you'll be successful with this portfolio assignment if the philosophy states the philosophy, why it's important, states how early child ed education program supports the family, and then of course write it in paragraphs or in bulleted phrases and free of errors, spelling, punctuation, and grammar. Um, mission and goal statement, again look back on those lecture notes that will help you as well as Chapter 1, the Working Director, and Chapter 2, Assessing Community Need and Establishing a Program. And again, that Module 1 lecture notes in the book called Program Goals and Objectives. And then there's a, the National Network for Child Care that might help as well. So thinking about your written mission and goals or value statement for your fictitious or real center, and include these things. A mission statement is focused on the needs of young children and their families. The goals focus on the needs of young children and their family. So your mission statement not only focuses on that, but your goals do. It reflects commitment to develop, developmentally appropriate practices and reflects commitment to diversity and inclusion, as well as correct grammar and correct spelling. And then your module one quiz from all that reading that you're going to be doing this module and um, begin working on your rules and regulation packet for in module two because it will take you a while and I don't want you to just um, wait to the last minute. There's a lot of information there so look ahead and work ahead. Thank you. Have a great module one.